this is Collector78 and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I'll be reviewing the uh, S42A large bust pale colored body from TB Lee, formerly known as Bison. There it is, right there. So let's get to it. Let's unbox this beauty and see what we have. Okay guys, let's remove the front plastic casing. This is usually put so to keep your figures uh, nicely and securely intact while shipping uh, from the manufacturer from uh, TB Lee to your distributor. Okay, let me move that out of the way. That way all this plastic can keep your figure in good condition without damaging the actual figure itself. If you notice, um, it has a, a molded plastic sheeting, which uh, if you press down on it, it kind of separates the legs the arms, the bust area. It just protects your figure. They want to protect your figure really, really well while shipping from the production company, the distribution side to the manufacturer. Okay, so let me get to the body here. And once again, this is a super flexible, female seamless body, a large bust, pale colored S42A body. Wow, look at this. It's a beautiful, beautiful body. As you can see, um, it has a large bust. Um, hands are uh, movable right here. And one thing I did notice, it's not kind of like a deal breaker to me. It doesn't really matter. Um, a lot of these figures actually don't have removable feet, which are uh, the actual feet that you can uh, disattach or attach uh, these don't come off so for obvious reasons if you have a figure that tb league produces um they will have other versions that will have a boot or like some type of uh how can i put this for better understanding um these the feet will fit into a boot precisely especially if it's a high heel or a boot or a shoe um, for obvious reasons, as you can see, move them down, they'll fit um, more into the boot. So these don't come off. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful body. As you can see, hands are nice and tight. It's a beautiful, beautiful figure. Oh, what's that there? It's like a little hair. And for um, questions that I get asked a lot is that, um, does this figure have the TB League secret area or the secret private area? This specific model, the S42A, um, probably does not have it, which is here. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me, but a lot of collectors, they ask that beforehand. Um, I want to say it does and it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it looks a little bit like it. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, a lot of collectors, uh, they ask that beforehand. They want to make this figure look as realistic as it can, but that doesn't bug me. I mean, as you can see, the figure looks fine. I mean, I'm going to zoom in to the, her bust area. Really, really nice figure. Very shape, shapely, very uh, athletic, back areas, nice, curvy, buttocks are like really well proportioned, as you can see, I'm going to zoom out, it's actually zoom in so you can see, yeah, it's a really nice body. Um, after I post this video, um, well actually I should, I, I should say, after when I get done with the video review or with the body review, I will be uh, putting on some clothes that I have from other um, video game series. So you can see um, the final outcome of this body. I mean, honestly, I just go with what I like to create, but honestly, the sky's the limit. I mean, you can literally create anything you want to. I mean, if you can recreate any figure um, video game wise or uh, any type of uh, a movie that 
um, has come out, you know, from all the major top companies out there. I mean, you can do anything you want. I mean, I specifically like to create my own figures as I am interested in seeing them. But uh, to show you guys what I'm talking about, um, once I finish reviewing the body, I'm going to show you guys what I have planned for this body. That way you guys can under have a, a better understanding of what I'm talking about. I'm going to move this a little bit off the way here. As you can see, knees bent perfectly fine. Other knees perfectly fine. And back together. Go up and down. Yeah, it's a really, really nice body. And um, one thing I do want to point out, I think I've uh, addressed this in my other videos. Um, if you do plan on buying um, a head for this specific body, what I mean by a head, you have to make sure it's compatible. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more as to what I'm talking about. Put the body here. Set that down a little bit. Um, when you do buy a when you do purchase a head for this specific body You want to make sure that it's a pale so that it can match the color of the body Because if you buy a head that's a little bit darker in terms of um, Having a, a perfect match with the head uh, It's not going to match if it's a, a darker color. You want to make sure it's a pale colored that way it can fit the body because or else you're gonna have a mismatch of colors, see? So you wanna make sure that you do purchase a head that's a pale colored head to match a pale colored body. That way uh, you won't have any problems or anything like that. And uh, yeah, you just wanna make sure, always identify with the actual um, body S42A for proportions that you understand. Um, obviously, if you buy a, a medium bust, the bust will be smaller, slightly smaller. In this case, it's a large bust, bigger bust, pale colored, the color we have here. And if it's a suntan, it'll be darker and um, vice versa. If you buy a suntan, medium bust, different color, smaller bust. If you buy a suntan, larger bust, bigger bust, same, uh, darker color, see. Just don't, don't get lost in that. I mean, you know, it's a little bit harder to understand what exactly you're getting into. And this specific body does include, uh, let me see, what is it? Looks like three sets of hands. I'm gonna see if I can get this guy out of here. Closer hands, I mean, this is made to hold like a gun or a sword or something like that. Let's see if I can put that back. So this is a an open set of hands right here. And this is even a, a bigger opened hand, I guess, if you have a different pose that you want to cre recreate. That'll allow you to do that. And uh, once again, I did mention earlier that the feet are not, um, this you cannot uh, attach feet into this. Uh, these are permanently on. They're uh, literally on the skeleton itself. So make sure that you know that before um, buying this figure. But I'm going to set this down and talk a little bit more about the figure. I have other um, figures here. Child, uh, other bodies that I have. I mean, I had these guys for quite some time now. And uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, why don't you review other bodies and other colors and other um, types of uh, skin tones and things like that. I mean, they only come in uh, either a pale or suntan, large bust and medium bust, but you get the idea, right? I mean, just uh, don't get yourself lost uh, in terms of what you're buying. I mean, you can recreate anything you want, see? But as long as you follow that rule, you have to make sure that you know what you're buying. That way you won't have a mismatch of uh, a head that's a little bit darker and a body that's a little bit lighter see but yeah back to the figure as you can see 
It's a really well made figure. I mean, have the hands here, have the elbows, have the shoulder joints, vice versa. Yeah, I love that. I mean, that's really nice curves here. I mean, really nice figure. Overall, I think that this is a really solid figure that TB League has created. Um, again, the sky's the limit. You can recreate any type of like female figure that you would want. I mean, either from G.I. Joe, the Baroness, either um, different types of Marvel female characters or anything, anything you want. See, the sky's the limit here. I mean, um, when you collect these figures, I mean, you're in control. You can do anything you want. You can order uh, any type of uh, boots or shoes or slippers or sandals, any type of uh, pumps or, or heels, anything. Uh, body stocking, underwear, a bikini, uh, even even a coat. I mean, honestly, you're, you're in control. That's a wonderful thing about uh, buying these figures is that you can recreate or buy any type of a, a, a figure to to choose your needs to for your liking. You custom make this figure the way you want to. See, that's a wonderful thing about having your own action figure is that you're in control and no company can tell you specifically what they want the figure to look like. You're in control. See, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about once I'm done with uh, reviewing this body. But yeah, overall, here's the body zoom out a little bit it's a wonderful wonderful beautiful body beautiful curves here's a side shot of that back side look at that beautiful beautiful body gorgeous gorgeous body we put this back here and uh i'm not done yet when I get done, I'm gonna post the last part of it. Stay tuned, okay guys? Give me just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the end result of the body, um, the head, the dress, the accessories. Uh, the boots are uh, re released from a company called uh, Super Duck. And this is uh, a character called Tubi from Near Automata. If you played the uh, Square Enix's video game, it's a, power, it's a very uh, popular character. I fell in love with her, honestly, if you look at her. Um, I am missing some accessories, but uh, they're in there somewhere. But I just wanted to show you a quick video of uh, what I came up with. Let me see if I can zoom in here. It matches the body very, very well, uh, as you can see. Um, what I really like about this body, I'm going to see if I can zoom out and show you a little bit more. Um, what I like about this body is that it uh, works really well with the character that uh, I was kind of hoping to get. Um, I'm really happy with the results. I mean, her bust uh, area just uh, hugs the uh, overall dress. It's just very tight. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, that's the actual pose that I would honestly, when I display my figures, I mean, that's mostly what I what I want there. But yeah, I'm just really happy with the result. Um, she's really, really great. She's missing uh, some uh, accessories. Uh, I mentioned her boots go on. Um, she has uh, two, two uh, I think they're like um, some type of a, a katana sword somewhere in there. I mean, I have to make sure I look for them. And she has like kind of like a a bandana or a cover for this eye so it'll be kind of like black on there but yeah this is what i was trying to explain earlier in the previous video that uh, you have to bring uh, your own creative uh, thinking and uh, just to come up with something that that you want uh, there, there's uh, a lot of options out there for you to work with but this is um what i came up with with the body and I, i'm really really happy with the the end results i mean I literally put the body together myself. Uh, the clothes I bought uh, separately, as I mentioned, uh, this is what it was released from a company called uh, Super Duck, I believe. But yeah, thanks again for stopping by Collector78 and uh, please give this uh, 
a video uh, a like and be subscribed to my channel. That way you could be um, alerted when I have new stuff out. And yeah, thanks again, guys. Electro78, have a great day.